Hi students, today we are going to learn chapter 4 in our English textbook. It is a poem and the name of the poem is The Brave Little Kite. It is a poem written by Catherine Pyle. She is an American poet and children's writer. Her famous work is The Christmas Angel. Now let us read the poem. I never can do it, the little kite said, as he looked at the others high over his head. I know I should fall if I tried to fly. Try, said the big kite, only try, or I fear you never will learn at all. But the kite said, I'm afraid I'll fall. The big kite nodded, ah well goodbye, I'm off. And he rose towards the tranquil sky. Then the little kite's paper stood at the side. And trembling he shook himself free for flight. First whirling and frightened, then braver grown. Up, up, he rose through the air alone. Till the big kite looking down could see the little one rising steadily. Then how the little kite thrilled with pride as he sailed with the big kite side by side. While far below he could see the ground and the boys like small sports moving round. They rested high in the quiet air and only the birds and clouds were there. Oh how happy I am! The little kite cried and all because I was brave and tried. That is all the poem. Now let us look at the explanation. I never can do it, the little kite said, as he looked at the others high over his head. I know I should fall if I try to fly. Try, said the big kite, only try or I fear you never will learn at all. But the little kite said, I am afraid I will fall. So, the main characters in this poem are a little kite and a big kite. Okay, so the little kite is afraid of flying. Now, I never can do it, the little kite said. So, the little uh, kite is first, first of all producing negativity. He is saying, I never can do it. What? I never can fly. I don't think I can ever fly. As he looked at the others high over his head. So, there were many other kites high over his head in the sky. So, he is looking at the sky at the others who are flying and he is telling that I never can do it. I know I should fall if I try to fly. So, he is telling I know, I know if I try to fly I will suddenly fall down. So, I am afraid of flying. What will happen if I fall down from up there? Try said the big kite. So, he is telling try. The big kite is telling the small kite to try. Only try or I fear you never will learn at all. Okay. So, the big kite is telling the little kite that you have to try. If you don't try, you will never be able to fly at all. If you have to start flying, a kite's purpose is to fly. So, if you do not try right now, you can never fly. So, you have to try to fly at all cost. But the little kite said, I am afraid I will fall. So, the little kite is afraid even then. So, the little kite is telling the big kite that I will fall. I am afraid. I will fall. I am sure I will fall. The big kite nodded. Ah, well, goodbye. I am off. And he rose towards the tranquil sky. Then the little kite's paper stood at the sight. And trembling, he shook himself free of flight. So, what did he do? The little kite told the bigger kite that he was afraid of flying. He thought that he will fall down if he tried to fly. So, what did the big kite say? The big kite nodded. He uh, nodded. He moved his head up and down agreeing to him and he told that, ah well goodbye, I am off. Okay. So, if you are afraid, you stay here. You don't need to do it. I am off. I am off means I am going. I am going to fly. And he rose towards the 
tranquil sky. So after saying that, I am off. The big kite rose towards the. What is rose? Rose is the. Uh, rose means rise. Rise towards the tranquil sky. What is tranquil? T R A N Q U I L. Tranquil. The meaning is calm, quiet, and peaceful. So the sky is calm, quiet, and peaceful and the big kite rose towards the tranquil or calm quiet and peaceful sky then the little kite's paper stirred at the side so the little kite was made up of paper and what happened when when seeing the uh, bigger kite rising towards the calm sky the paper of the little kite stirred what is the meaning of stirred s t i r r e d stirred moved so the paper of the little kite stirred at the sight of watching the big kite rise towards the sky then the little kite's paper stirred at the, stirred at the sight and trembling he shook himself free for flight so now the little kite is going to fly so he he is now determined to fly at any cost he was ready to fly and trembling what is the meaning of trembling T R E M B L I N G trembling the meaning is shaking because of being nervous so this little kite was nervous and he was sh shaking he was shaking beca because of uh, because he was frightened so this little kite trembled and he shook himself free for flight even if though he is afraid he decided he is going to fly he to, uh, he made himself ready for the flight first whirling and frightened then braver grown up up he rose through the air alone till the big kite looking down could see the little one rising steadily so what happened after that first whirling what is the meaning of whirling w h i r l i n g whirling the meaning is moving quickly in a circular motion so first the kite moved quickly in a circular motion and after that what what was it first whirling and frightened frightened f r i g h t e n e d frightened the meaning is afraid so we all, uh, earlier uh, we know that the little kite was frightened so he was afraid uh, being afraid he whirled he moved around in circular motion first then braver grown so after whirling for some time he felt uh, brave he thought that he could do it so what did he do up up he rose through the air alone so no one was there for to there to support the little kite so he first whirled around and then he slowly go went up and up okay he went up and up he rose through the air alone he rise through the air alone till the big kite looking down could see the little one rising steadily so first the big kite went off and after that the little kite is following the big kite so he started rising up and up and when the big kite looked down he could see that the little kite was rising up to the sky steadily what is steadily s t a d i l y steadily the meaning is constantly constantly means without any mistake without any delay the little kite was rising up and up on the onto the sky and the big kite could see it then then how the little kite thrilled with pride as he sailed with the big kite side by side while far below he could see the ground and the boys like small spots moving round so what happened next then how the little kite thrilled with pride so the little kite was thrilled what is the meaning of thrilled t h r i l l e d thrilled thrilled means became excited or pleased so the little kite understood that he could fly so became so he became so excited and happy and he became thrilled with pride what is pride p 
P-R-I-D-E, pride, meaning is a feeling of deep pleasure of satisfaction from one's own deed. So, the little kite is feeling a deep pleasure or satisfaction from him flying up to the sky. So, he was thrilled with pride. As he sailed with the big kite side by side, first the little kite was below the big kite and when he was excited and happy, he again rose up and up and he started flying side by side with the big kite. Well, far below he could see the ground. So, when he, wa he rose so up in the sky and he looked down on the ground, he could see the uh, ground far below him and the boys like small spot moving round. So, the boys were playing with the kites and when the kite looked from far up in the sky to the ground, he could see the boys like small spots. The boys felt like they were small spots in the ground. Then, they rested high in the quiet air and only the birds and clouds were there. Oh, how happy I am! The little kite cried and all because I was brave and tried. So what happens next? They rested high in the quiet air. Okay, after reaching up in the sky, they started resting in the quiet air, quiet sky and only the birds and clouds were there. So this uh, little kite was afraid. Now he was brave. He became brave and he could see that only the birds and clouds were there and it was so calm and quiet in the sky. Oh, how happy I am. The little kite tried. So, the little kite is telling us, oh, how happy I am. I could fly now. So, I am so happy right now. And all because I was brave and tried. So, why did he become happy? Only because he was brave. He was, he had the courage to do, do it. He had the courage to fly and he tried only because the little kite tried. So that is all about the poem and the meaning of the poem is whatever you are doing, if you are afraid, don't hesitate. You have to try. Only if you are brave and only if you try, you can do whatever it takes to attain success. Read and get familiar with the poem at least three times. Grammar portions. Today we are going to learn can and cannot. The usage of can and cannot in grammar. Look at these two examples. The little kite can fly in the sky. Can. Can is used as the ability of the little kite to fly in the sky. Second example. Toads can live both on land and in water. Here can stands as the ability for ta toads to live both in land and water. So, can is a word which is used to denote ability. Can is used to denote ability and cannot is used if it doesn't have an ability. Can stand for the ability to do something and cannot stands for not being able to do something. If we use can in a question, can you run fast? There are two possibilities. Yes, I can or no, I cannot. So, if a question starts with can, then, then it has a possibility of an answer ending with yes or no. Children, you have also need to note that this can can be substituted with able to. The little kite can fly in the sky can be also written as the little kite is able to fly in the sky. Here, toads can live both on land and in water can be written as toads are able to live both on land and in water. Now, try to do the exercises from page number 37 using can, cannot or able to. There is also another exercise Part B, you have some sentences are given there. You have to make questions using can. That's all for today. See you in next class.